What is up you guys? Got a little bit of a different format, decided to film myself in the car a little bit. I had a very interesting topic that one of my students brought up to me. And he said, Lloyd, why is it that men have to get rejected so much more than women do? And I thought about that for a little bit because it's a question that I used to fucking have when I was younger, you know? Like, it sucks, dude. You go out, you talk to him, but hey, how's it going? I'm Lloyd. And you know, I have a boyfriend, you know, I need to see my friends, like, see ya. Like, you get a lot of rejection. Men get rejected way more than women do when it comes to romantic situations, for sure. I think in general, men get just rejected more in life. Um, I don't know if you can prove me wrong in this area, Take a look at how the things usually go down. Guys asking for the phone number, guys asking the girl out, he's trying to make plans. The, it's the woman's position to either say yes or no. That's her story. And so a lot of guys, when they hear this, they get frustrated. They think, oh, well, it's not fair. Like, why do women get to have all the power? Well, first of all, if you think they have all the power just because they're not getting rejected as much as us, you're sorely mistaken. Women have power, but men we are pushing ourselves. That, that is your job as a man. If you're doing your job, you should be pushing yourself. If you never get rejected in life, you're not maximizing your potential. Anyone who has started a business, anyone who has tried to do something or accomplish a goal, you get rejected. When I first started jujitsu, I was getting tapped out by everyone, man. I was failing constantly. Now when I walk into the gym, the same people that I was rolling with, well not the same people, but like new people come in, I'm tapping out most of the people there now. But it didn't happen that way at the beginning. You have to try, you have to fail, and that's how you learn, and that's how you better yourself. And if you continue to live in a space or live in an environment where you're not doing that, then you're just not maximizing your potential. And this is a pretty important line that I, I think I read this in the Rational Mail, and that's, which is a, which is a freaking awesome book. I think, I think the Rational Mail should be mandatory reading for all men. And that's, re rejection is better than regret. If you've been in life and you walk around and you've been rejected a lot, it's a lot better than living with someone who regrets not taking the opportunities that were presented to them. Regrets being in that relationship for that long. That regrets not doing, not talking to that person that they really liked. I mean, you've probably had this, dude. You probably had the situation where some girl in your class, or maybe there was some girl that you saw on the street or whatever, and she was really interested in you, she's making eye contact with you, she's following you around, and you did nothing. You probably went home and you're probably super pissed off at yourself. I've had those situations so many times. Regret is worse than rejection. To illustrate this point even further, I'm gonna tell you a couple stories. The first story that I'm gonna tell you is a story about uh, when I was when I was younger. I had a girl, dude, this is actually like when I was real young. I think I was a freshman in high school. I first, there was this girl, her name was, uh, I think her name was Desiree. She was kind of interested in me and she really liked me. There was like a, a few, like a month period where she was really freaking into me. Um, and I was not a popular kid. I was hanging around with kind of the nerdy guys, and I did this performance for the talent show, and just afterwards, everyone was like, wanted to talk to me, everybody was interested in me, and she was really interested in me too. Um, and I remember she would come and talk to me at lunch every single day, and she would t call, me on, call me up on the phone every single day too, we'd talk for like an hour or something about freaking nothing, man. I was just happy to talk to a hot girl. And I had no idea she was interested in me and I did nothing. And then I later found out a couple years later that she was actually, that she really liked me. She had a huge crush on me. And I, ever since I found that out, I was like, God damn it. Like, of course I would have gone with her. Like, she was so fucking fine, dude. So obviously there was a lot of regret in that position. Second story. I was out, uh, I think I was a junior in high school when this happened, um, and I had a huge crush on this girl, this redhead in my class. Um, we'll just call her D. So D sits like right across from me, and I would just, yeah, we sat together in Spanish class, and I would just stare at her face the whole time. I was like super in love with this girl. That was back when I was like a super like <laughs> hopeless romantic, right? And 
I remember I was like this. She had this carefree attitude. She was like, you know, very independent, and I was very into that. I thought she was so hot. So eventually, I worked up enough courage to ask her out to junior prom, and miraculously, she said yes. Miraculously, she said yes. And we went to junior prom, and I was so nervous the whole time. I remember I was like trying to be myself, trying to act like confident. And I just, I was so nervous. And it was so obvious that she just saw me as a friend. And I tried to kiss her at the end and she just kind of like patted me on the back and just like left. And I later found out that she started dating this like 25 year old guy. And the way I found out was I had made her a mixtape and I went to her place after that, it was like a week later. I went to her place a week later and I brought her this mixtape and she, uh, the whole time she was just like complaining about this other guy and I was just like sitting there listening to her like a total little bitch. <laughs> and so this happened. Now fast forward 10 years later, I just come back from traveling and she hits me up out of nowhere, out of freaking nowhere. And so we start talking for a little bit. We eventually go out for drinks and I remember her showing up and she did not look like the same girl that I remember her. You know, when she was when she was 16, I think she was, was that 16 or 17. When she was at that age, man, she looked good. She was like, she had an awesome body. She was still the same independent, carefree attitude. And at that time, that was really appealing. That was like rebellious because she was not conforming to what people were doing in school. But now it just seemed like she had no direction in life. She didn't know what she wanted to do. She didn't seem ambitious or motivated. And on top of that, she was like really out of shape. It, she, I was just not attracted to her at all. Um, but like my 15 year old brain's telling me, Lloyd, like you gotta like at least do something with this girl. Cause like you were so in love with her in the past. So we had drinks um, and then I gave, you know, I gave her a kiss on the cheek at the end. Actually, you know, she gave me a kiss on the cheek at the end. That's what happened. Um, and I just remember leaving and I didn't talk to her after that, man. I think I texted her once just to say, hey, I think we should just be friends. But that's how it went down. And I think about what she was thinking, how she felt at that moment, you know? Do you think she lives in regret? Do you think she regrets not getting with me? Maybe, she might. Maybe she's totally happy with the way she is. But I know how, I, how I'd feel. And if I passed up the opportunity like I did before previously, I would feel a lot of regret, man. The, different, the thing about women and men is that men tend to get better with age and then women kind of peak at around 21, 22. And then they can maintain that if they're taking care of themselves for sure. But in terms of their, uh, their mate value, it goes down and guys tend to get better with age. So don't be scared. If you're, if you're getting rejected, man, remember, rejection is better than regret. At least you're pushing yourself. At least you're going after the stuff that you want. And then later on when you do find that special girl, you know that you found the right one because you pushed yourselves to achieve your potential. I want you guys to get the best thing for you. And you're not gonna get the best thing just by sitting on your ass, waiting for that magical girl to come to you. You have to experience hardship. You have to go through failure. If you don't go through that, you are never going to achieve your potential. I don't want you to sit there in regret and to think that, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that, if I had just pushed myself, if I had just tried, if I had talked to that girl. I don't want that to happen to you guys. So remember these stories that I told you because if you think it's uneven, if you think the dating market is skewed, where it should just be, you know, it should be totally equal where men and women should be getting rejected at the same rate, well, men and women deal with pain, but it's just in different flavors. And I honestly think we got the better end of that deal.